Howdy folks! Welcome to Old Car Auto Guy, the channel that has reached 1,000 subscribers. We're going to do a distance to empty challenge. And today, we're doing it on our very own shop truck. First thing we got to do is get that plow off the front of it. So we got that undone, let's go for a drive. So as you can see right now, it says we are 58 kilometers to empty. And just so that everybody is aware, we are not running stock size tires on this truck. We are running 265-7017s, and we'll be doing it in two wheel drive of course, and this vehicle has the five liter V8. So we're gonna go home first, grab a bite to eat, and then we're gonna hit the road. First things first. Need some gas. Oh. How far will she go? How far will she go? Alrighty guys, we are on the road. We've got our bellies full and uh, we are about to hit the highway here very soon. So just so you guys know what the rules are, if you're new to the channel, once in a while we do a distance to empty challenge where we pick a random vehicle and we drive it until it runs out of gas. And then you guys get to guess in the comment section below how far you think it's gonna go. So our 2011 Ford F-150, is a four-wheel drive, it has the V8 engine, and we are going to be setting the cruise control at approximately 70 miles an hour or 110 kilometers an hour. So that's basically what we do every time, and uh, I'll be jumping in and out every once in a while, let you know where we are on the trip, when certain lights come on, and how far in when it comes time to do the reset of the odometer. So basically what's going to happen is the odometer, the vehicle is going to tell me when we're at zero and I'll reset the trip and the trip will start a countdown and then that way we will know as soon as I run out of gas just exactly how many kilometers to empty. So I'm just pulling on to the on-ramp here. We're going to uh, hammer down and uh, get this party started. So in the last two distance to empty challenges in the Kia Optima as well as the Chrysler 200, we ran into a situation where the vehicles would tell us that the distance was empty up until 50 kilometers and then it just said low fuel. So on this F-150, it just switched to 49 kilometers to empty. So that means we're gonna be able to tell right down to the last kilometer how far we can go. So right now, as I said, we're at 49, oh, 48 kilometers to empty. We're gonna keep trucking.
Now from past videos, you'll note that we normally would take that exit right there that we just went under, exit 45, to turn around and go back towards St. Stephen. Well, the problem with that is we're still showing 35 kilometers to empty, so we're gonna keep going to the next exit, which I believe is exit 53 or 54, and then we'll turn around and go back in hopes that at some point on the way home, we'll hit that elusive zero to empty. Then we can reset the trip and start driving until we run out of gas. So if you're following the high speed at all, you'll know that we did pass right through St. George and we're gonna take the next exit, exit 60 at Penfield before we turn around and go back. Now, I chose to do that for a specific reason. I'm trying to calculate in my head that if you guys know how exit numbers work, exit 60 is 60 kilometers from the start of the highway, which is way back in St. Stephen. Right now I'm showing 27 kilometers to empty. So if from exit 60 we turn around and go back and we subtract 27 kilometers, that will definitely put us at zero on the way back. And it should make for a lot less of a trip when we have to turn around way back at exit four to head back this way again. So as you've noted, or as you may note, in previous editions of zero to empty, we've had to make the trip back and forth to exit 45 several times. I'm gonna put the link right here to the very first distance to empty challenge we did in my wife's van, where we went well over 100 kilometers when the gas gauge said we were on empty. So we don't wanna duplicate that again, and we don't wanna bore you with a bunch of boring videos. So we're gonna take a we're going to get off here at uh, exit 60 in Penfield and switch her back heading west. The only unfortunate thing about heading back west now is that we're going to be driving into the sun. Oh well! So as we're driving west, uh, 18 kilometers to empty, we're just about to uh, exit 45, once again going back towards St. Stephen. I wanted to jump in here and note that in this short little trip, I have seen more RCMP on the highway than I had my whole trip, a thousand miles to Montreal and back two weekends ago. So they must be pulling a tag team because there was one sitting in the median of the highway as well as one that had a little Honda Civic pulled over on the side of the road. So I guess we better uh, make sure we're watching our speed because by the looks of things they are out in full force. We're just coming past the St. Andrews exit, exit 25 with five kilometers until empty. And what's gonna happen is when this reads zero kilometers to empty, I'm going to reset the trip meter and we will start counting up the number of kilometers. So, here we go. And there you have it, the countdown is on. Let's see how far we can go from here. And the winner wins an old car auto guy sticker. Good luck guys. Well folks, as you saw in the high speed, we made it through exit nine to number four. 
we spun around and come right back again. We're hitting exit nine now, and we are at 17.1 kilometers on zero kilometers to empty. So my battery on this GoPro is getting ready to die. So I'm not gonna jump back in here again until we have stalled out. So here's hoping for the best, guys. Good luck. Well, I didn't think it was that fair if I just left you hanging for that long, but we're on our way back to St. Stephen again. We turned around the next at 45. We've got 52.6 kilometers on the clicker and uh, no signs of stopping yet. So we're gonna see if we can hold out for a little bit longer. And we're spitting and sputtering. We're out of gas. See if I can get away from this guardrail as we can pull over and put some gas in her. We are going by a mile marker 29, heading west. <laughs> That's the sound the truck makes when it stalls. Why? Because we're out of gas. So, you wanna know what the grand total is? 63.9 kilometers. I will put the conversion to miles right here and I will announce our winner on Instagram very, very soon. Well, let's get some gas in this beast. All right, let's see if we can do this without getting gas all over ourselves. Spout, it's in the hole. And it's puking out all over the ground somewhere. Come on. Come on, baby. Why is it puking on the ground? These friggin' uh, capless spouts on these fords. I have to find something to hold that open. Well, this didn't turn out to be much of a fun trip. I'm not sure if you can see that, but all the gas has gone all over the ground. That little spout, that little spout inside there does not want to press with that short little nozzle. So I'm not sure how much we get in there, but we've got it started. We're gonna see how far we can get on that. And hopefully make it back to the shop at least, so. I got a little bit left in the gas can in hopes that uh, if we need it, we'll make it work. So anyways, off to the shop. We'll see you guys in a bit. Well guys, we made it to the gas station, so we're gonna fill this baby up and we'll be all set to get back home. So no worries there. We're gonna end this video with a little bit of a mail call that I recorded earlier this week. So take a look at this and I will be right back with you. So we are going to start off with uh, a gentleman from Texas who has sent me some license plates and uh, James is one of my regular commenters on uh, on my channel and James writes uh, Dear Jason, I really enjoy you, your YouTube and the adventures in New Brunswick Enclosed is a Texas license plate for your man cave. Stay well and God bless. Sincerely, James Nesto. So James, thank you so much for sending me these plates. Uh, one of them even had West Houston Volkswagen still wrapped around the plate and uh, so there's the uh, there's the two plates that he has sent me, both are the same, and we'll make sure that those get put up. If these are your plates, please don't call the cops because they're not gonna get them back. Now, quite a while back, I sent out some stickers to other YouTubers for a sticker exchange. And one of those recipients was a gentleman whose channel name goes by Pappy's Corner. If you haven't checked out Pappy's Corner, please do so. So there, is his logo for his channel and on the back of this he says hey Jason as you see I've answered your request to swap stickers cool cars buddy keep selling in Oak Bay all the best Pappy thanks Pappy and he's also he's given me two stickers as well as some business cards uh, from his channel so if you haven't checked out Pappy's Corner on YouTube he is on YouTube Twitter and Facebook I'll put his information down below and last but not least is a channel that I just recently started following and uh, Omar has a channel based on uh, a truck rebuild that he's doing. His channel is called Po Boys Diesel 
and uh, he has sent this sticker. He asked me what color I want. I said yellow because I thought it would stand out really good in the black toolbox. And uh, he says, let the coal roll. So thanks, Omar, for sending out the, uh, the sticker. And um, if you uh, haven't uh, followed him yet, uh, he is on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. He's got an email. He's on YouTube as well as the World Wide Web. So it's very easy. Po Boys Diesel, P-O-B-O-Y apostrophe S, Diesel. So thank you once again, Omar, for sending that. So guys, keep sending me in your license plates, and if you do, I will send you an old car auto guy sticker. Thanks for watching. Pay attention to the four links down in the description box below. They're very important links to me. The first one being bonfire.com, where you can get your very own old car auto guy t-shirt or hoodie. Guys, I end every video by saying stay focused on the windshield, not the rear view mirror. And don't forget, this uh, Thursday evening, I'm hosting the Car Guy and Six Fan Show on this channel. So stay tuned. We'll see you in the next upload.